Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays, where it's Man Man Manhunt Checkpoint Night once again. And I'm off trying to get all the checkpoints. There's going to be five of them around the map, one at a time, and each time I take one I'll be given a new one. As you can see at the bottom of the screen, the first checkpoint is up in North Vinewood. And that's a bit of a trek from here. I need to go from here, I need to go across the major highway you can just see at the top of the mini-map down there. Um, and then just basically keep going in that direction, then off a little bit to the east. So it, it, it's a bit of a drive to get there. But um, I, 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 think I, can, I think I can probably manage to get up there. So we're playing Manhunt Checkpoint. That means, as I say, I have to get the checkpoints. But there are some hunters who are trying to stop me from getting the checkpoints. We've got four of them tonight. We've got uh, Mike in orange. We've got Mark in light green. We've got Tristan in purple. And we've got Pete in dark green. So they're going to be wandering around the city. You'll see their cars cropping up from time to time um, whenever they get any, whenever they get within visual range of me um, and you'll be able to recognize them because they'll be in there with their player colors and so they'll be nice and obvious and um, really stick out and um, well the idea and then we we like having them in bright colors because it makes them a bit more obvious for me so it makes it a bit more exciting when I see them rather and it makes them easier to identify so I can say oh look there's there's mark rather than going oh look there's a hunter um, was I suspicious then or is he going away? No, I think he's going away. There's a green light. Let's, let's have me go away as well. Go on then. Get out of here. Right. So, yes, they're, they're patrolling around the city trying to find me. Now, the city is a big place. So, in order to help them find me, because it would be a bit dull if they if they never did and it was just... And then they were just searching the entire city. Because four, four people, not going to be able to cover the entire city. It's a big old place. So to make things a bit easier for them, they have a circle that appears on their maps, and and they know that I'm somewhere in that circle. Um, and whenever I touch the edge of the circle, it will jump to put me sort of again somewhere inside it. So it gives them a bit of a clue as to where I am. But at the moment, the circle's quite big, so it's um, it's not too much of a clue. It's not going to make things too easy for them. Um, the circle is also um, slightly changes size depending on how fast I drive. So the faster I move, in my, or the faster my car moves, the smaller the circle gets. So it gives them a bit of an indication of how fast I'm going if they watch the circle. So at the moment the circle will be quite big and not, not wibbling around because as, as I drive my, my speed is going to change all the time because of course it is. Um, but at the moment because I'm stationary it's going to be steady and so they're going to know that I'm not moving. So they're going to get, they're going to be suspicious of any cars they see that aren't moving in a, somewhere in the circle. But hopefully there'll be enough of those that they'll struggle to uh, track me down. There we go, there's a green light so I can now go. Maybe I can pull off in front of this FedEx truck. There we go. So I have a bit of a theory that it's generally best to try and stick to small roads because I think the hunters will probably not not deliberately I, I'm sure but will naturally just sort of gravitate to the um, to the larger roads. I think Mark is suspicious of me, or maybe he's just going past me. I'm not sure. Nope. Okay, that's the second time I've seen him and he's not identified me. So either I'm driving a sort of vehicle that he doesn't expect me to be using. Or I'm actually doing a good impression of an AI for once. Um, I think it's probably got to be the latter because I don't think my driving has been that has been spectacularly good this time. But okay, so the checkpoint is off over that way. I'm not heading towards it quite at the moment. I thought I saw purple over there, but it might have been that sign, not Tristan. Um, oh, that isn't a green light. I saw another car going, and I thought it was a green light, so I went. That's not. That's a a dangerous mistake to make. But there weren't any hunters around, so I got away with it. Okay, so I take this road. And head over this way, and there's the check. The checkpoint is sort of vaguely ahead of me. So if I follow this road, I will eventually not quite get to it because it's another road up. But I'm following once again. I'm trying to follow the small roads to get to, the, to get to my destination, rather than getting stuck on the big ones where the hunters are more likely to be. So one of our rules used to be that the prey can only take a checkpoint if they're not in a chase. We've changed that a little bit for this run. Um, We've decided that this evening we're going to have a rule where the, the prey can take a checkpoint any time they want, whether they're in a chase or not, but they have to be stopped when they take it. So a lot of the checkpoints are on junctions, which means if you pull up at a red light, that's the perfect opportunity to grab it. Um, but however, that means you have to hope the light is red when you get to the checkpoint. Um, and if it's not, then you either drive through it and come swing around again, and then just lurk in the in the general area looking suspicious, or you stop in the middle of it, which also looks suspicious if you just stop in the middle of the road. And so it's, it's up to you. It depends whether you think there's hunters around, basically. But you have to be stopped in order to take the checkpoint. And we think this is going to be interesting and, and provide some sort of slight really differences and make and make the game work in a slightly different way. What is that Durango doing? I mean, I'd have said that's a hunter, but it's not in, it's not in an approved colour, so it can't be. Right, okay, so I'm going up here. There's the checkpoint. 
Number one. Not been going very long yet, so that's okay. Um, do we get a red light for this? We do. Excellent. So I can just pull up here like this. Stop at the checkpoint. So now I could take it now if I wanted to. In fact, I, I will, and then I'll just start going. Because... Uh, you're allowed to turn right on a red. My, my, my thought was going to be, I know, I'll wait for a green light and then go. And then take it. But actually, just turning right on a red and just getting it done is probably a better idea. And turning right on a red once again. Okay, so I'll head back down here. In 30 seconds, or 30 seconds after I took the checkpoint, I'll be told where the next one is. And I can then head off and try and get that. But until then, I'm just sort of lurking in the area, trying not to look too suspicious. And there's Mark again. So speaking of suspicious, he's... Investigating that car instead of me. That's good. He's investigating that car quite hard. That's also good. Let's take another right turn. Because I don't want to hang around here when there's a, um, a hunter investigating in the, in the area. And, ooh, let's turn right again. Oh, this wasn't where I meant to go. Because this is, this is a kind of a dead end. I mean, there's an alleyway that comes out of here. But that's an alleyway. And, and AIs don't, drive, don't tend to drive out of... Oh dear, alleyways very often. And AIs don't tend to be up here very often, so let's try and get out of here because I think I've just been spotted. Um, okay. Yes, yeah, almost certainly spotted. Well, Mark has, I say definitely spotted me. I heard, heard tyres behind me then, I think, as I was screeching around the corners there. Um, or maybe not. Come down here. Okay, let's try and find... Oh dear, there's a Tristan. Alright, there's a purple car behind me now. So my, uh, my escape has not gone as I would hope because... I didn't manage to get away from him as well. And to be honest, this this Toyota, what is it, an FJ Cruiser, not my favourite vehicle, I'm discovering, because it's a bit slow and a bit lumberous. Um, I'm going to come around here. I'm not going to go onto the highway there, because that's a trick I've done far too many times recently. I'll come on to, come on to here. Ooh, what was that, Lawrence? Come on, do better than that. See, now he's caught up again. And now there's a purple... When the entire backside of my car starts to glow purple, then I know there's... I, I, there's there's problems. Just put it that way. There's problems. Now, let's see. If I head off this... Oh, it's quite a way behind, actually. So, if I can go this way, and then I can drop off here, like that. I was hoping to do that a little bit more neatly, but if from here I go... I don't know. Down here? Is this a getaway, or is this just me getting stuck? I think this is probably just me getting stuck. Yes, I see purple. See see what I mean? When the car starts to glow purple, it's, it's, it's bad news. It's generally bad news. Get off! I'm trying to... <laughs> oh. Oh, past the pedestrian. Okay, let's go. Let's go this way. Because this is taking me up directly towards the next checkpoint. Now, Tristan is a bit too close. I don't want to go in and take the checkpoint while he's basically right there. Oh, and there's, there's Mark. Okay. So what I'm going to do... I'm going to come up here. I'm not going to take this checkpoint because that would mean slowing down to an absolute stop. And I think that would be bad for my survival chances. Tristan has hit something else though. So let's come through here. Let's take the... Oh, for goodness sake. What is wrong with me today? I mean, okay, um, that's got me through the through the thing. But it wasn't quite how I was intending to do it. Over the jump. Down here. Off this way. Yep, he's still right behind me. Because of course he is. Because I completely stuffed up the, um, the jump. Mirror Park. That was a, an astonishing level of fail. I, I I don't know what to say. I should be able to drive better than that by now. I, I really should. Okay, he's he's not getting smaller in my mirrors um, because I think his vehicle is at least as fast as mine. Probably faster. Oh, that was a there was an alleyway there. Maybe I should have gone into it. I'm not quite sure where it would have gone. But oh, problem with a lot of these big SUV type vehicles. It's when they get a little bit upset, unsettled by going bumping over curbs and things like that, like like I did just then. They tend to then be very, they're very unstable. They they they're very hard to get them. It's hard to get them to sort of get back under control and start behaving themselves again. It's just discovered there with a massive over. I didn't even see Pete coming then because Pete's colour is dark green and therefore I just I didn't see him. Um, maybe if I do this because I'm in a whoa, really, really GTA physics, really. Oh dear. Um, <laughs> yes. So GTA Physics has um, done unpleasant things to me there. Uh, I've still got Pete behind me, but Pete is in a van. So Pete is in an astonishingly bad vehicle. Although it did surprisingly well at some hunting me around a little bit earlier. So let's um, see if let's just flee back over this way. In fact, if it's just Pete behind me, 
that might be enough of a non-threat that I can pull up in that in that checkpoint, grab it, and then carry on going again. So I think this is this is worth a try. Now they're all going to be mocking me for running in a straight line, but I do have an I, I have a plan, or at least I have a deliberate. I'm doing it on purpose and deliberately and stuff like that. So come to a stop, come to a stop, come to a stop, stop. Take the checkpoint. There we go. Oh, suddenly it's daylight. So that is because we have a feature in this game which we call uh, checkpoint effects. And as I've said many times before, I apologise if you've heard me say this before, but a checkpoint effect means that when I take a checkpoint, there's a 50-50 a chance, roughly, that something silly will happen. And in this case, the silly thing was that it suddenly became the middle of the day rather than the uh, middle of the night, which is a bit of a shock to the eyes when it happens. But actually, that's not, that's not midday. Maybe it's dawn that that happens. Um, yes, it, it suddenly becomes uh, much, much brighter anyway. Ooh, shopping centre jump. That might be... I mean, I'm going in the right direction. Should we just try grabbing all the checkpoints by pulling into... Whoa! I mean, that was an amazing jump, except I didn't really manage to land it very nicely. If I'd, if I'd managed to hold that and actually, you know, land with my car the right way up, and... Well, I did land the car the right way up, that's the point. But if I'd managed to then keep it under control and carry on driving rather than going straight into a tree, that would have been incredible. But no such luck. Can't have everything. Uh, right, where, what's the best way to get away down here? Um, I think maybe for oh, that wasn't quite what I intended to do. This this car has seen better days. I think it's time. I kind of need need an upgrade or at least a replacement. There, oh, I was going to say, is there a way out down there? I think there is. I think you can get out and get onto the um, get onto the high or maybe it's onto the opposite wall, opposite road. So I'm not sure. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Yes, you can get out over here. Okay, that's that, that's good. I'm, uh, I'm 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 glad about that. Come out down here. And let's go up this one. There we go. Um, is he behind me? Yes, of course he's still behind me. I haven't done anything remotely clever enough to get rid of him yet. But uh, we shall we shall see. I could drop off at Red Car Park there, or I could pull a sort of a U-turn here like this and just see if I can... Ooh, see if either of us can get going again. Um, this isn't the way I meant to go. Um, <laughs> I was planning to do something completely different from this, but apparently I'm not because I went the wrong way. I got lost in the, uh, on, the, uh, on, the, on the motorways. Um, I suppose all he has to do at this point is follow me. I don't know whether that's easier or hard. Well, I know, no, I, I do know. It's, it's quite a bit harder, especially if I try and chuck cars or something like that. Did that work? Ooh, it kind of did. He's had some. He had a moment with the wall, at least, which is good. Uh, now, what am I going to do up here? Let's try and go this way. Now, I'd still need to get back to shopping centre, but I kind of want to have a better car. To, or at least I want to have a different car that's in slightly less of a state, and ideally is a little bit faster than the ones the hunters are using. Let's see if I can try and hold this together. Um, I took that corner reasonably smoothly, I suppose. This one, can I take that without sliding? No. I'm in a car park, this is not good. Can I get through these barrier pollards? Yes, but this is not where I wanted to go. Um, <laughs> is this going to go well for me? Uh... <laughs> I am currently uncertain, but we're out. Back on the road again. Have I... Oh, no. They're still with me. Okay, I think they went round, because they're not quite as muppety as me. And also, they're in bigger vehicles and probably didn't fit. Um, that's a shame. If I'd gone through there a bit quicker, or maybe if I'd, if I'd checked behind me a little bit more, maybe I'd have realised that they were, weren't following me and I could have turned round or even jumped out of the car and done something completely different. I don't know. There's, there's always potential... Mind the, mind the Lambo. <laughs> I've avoided that telegraph pole, though. That's quite good. Normally, I just drive straight into those when I'm trying to flee, flee from the hunters. <laughs> um, no, not deliberately, before anyone says anything. It just tends to happen that way. If I can't... Yes, I can just get enough corner for that. But ooh, Mike, has, Mike has had a fail, so I'm down to, down to one hunter again. But... It... He's, he's, he's still got a faster faster SUV than I have, so getting away from him, not going to be easy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not sure what the tactic here is going to be. Um, <laughs> I could do the dump it in the water tack trick. That's always always fun um, and sometimes works. And the, I mean, They all have sniper rifles, so they'll be keeping a close eye on, on the water to try and work out where I've gone. But there's a reasonable chance I might be able to find a way to get away from them. Um, I don't know. I'm umming and erring because I don't really know what I want to do at this point. 
I know this sort of whole whoa. <laughs> Getting pushed around in circles like that is not on my not on my to-do list. So, nope, that's not a way through. Don't go there. Oops, pedestrian. Pedestrian also not a way through. Well, I suppose I, I did find a way through the pedestrian, so maybe the pedestrian is a way through. Um, is this entire run just going to be one long chase with me, me just spending forever trying to get rid of Tristan? That's a tree. Didn't mean to do that. I meant to do something more like this. I have to admit, I was sort of hoping there was a bit more of an escape down there, but there isn't. I already know there isn't. I've done this before. This feels awfully familiar. I've I've fled down this road before with um, everyone following me, and or with with at least Tristan following me. I can't remember whether the rest of them were or not. Uh, he's out there, is he? Okay, so if I go this way, maybe he'll. Oh no, he did manage to get across quickly enough. I'm not going to take that jump because it's overplayed. I've done it before. Um, I could come off at Red Car Park, I suppose. There's a drop down here. This one's quite a good one. Like that. Although I didn't take it particularly well because I got stuck. You see, he's got a bigger and heavier and faster vehicle than me, so it's a, it, it, gives me, it gives me some struggles, should we say. Um, I'm hoping mine's more agile and more... Um, maybe has more acceleration, you never know. Um, but whatever it is, I need, I need some sort of trick to get away from him. Ideally, I'd switch, switch into a sports car, but the problem with trying to switch into a sports car is it means I'd need to stop and get out of my car. And that would make me very, very vulnerable. Um, as soon as I get out of the car, I'm an absolute city duck, and he'll probably run me over, but if he doesn't run me over, then he'll he'll get a chance to get out and, and shoot me as I try and drive away. So it's not a, it's not a valid, it's not a realistic tactic. It's not a, it's not a way to escape. Um, in here, on the other hand... Where is he? He's behind me. Okay, he did follow me in there. All right, I was um, I'd slowed down because I wasn't sure whether he was still with me or not, but it turns out he was. Now the other problem with that trick is, it's, yeah, there we go. I was going to say it's going to mean all of the hunters will have caught up. But there's another one. Ah, I was too busy trying to avoid the other ones, and then suddenly, suddenly there was all four of them basically. Sort of one or two at a time. Ow, time. Thank you. Now I'm getting bullied around and can't. Oh no, I can't get away. Can't get away. This FJ Cruiser is. Doing reasonably well at sort of staying alive, staying alive, um, but it it is suffering and it's struggling to actually, you know, do actually get away, which is the important thing that I really need it to do. Granted, when I do that, it doesn't help. When Mike does that, it helps a little bit. Um, can we all just get out of here and back onto the? Yeah, there we go. Back onto the road. That's good. That, that's the trick. That's the that's the money. Oh, they're all pointing that way. I'm going. That means I'm going to go this way, and then this way, just to be different. If I drop down here, storm drain, storm drain. Oh, that was a poor entry into the storm drain. Is that, is that? There's something on the front of my car. I don't know what it is. It doesn't seem to be fire though. I think it might just be a graphical glitch. So uh, I don't seem to be. I'm not on fire, so I'm going to stick with this car. <laughs> Basically, I think though. Given that, especially given that I've got all four of them on my tail, I might have to do the put the car in the sea trick because I don't see how else I'm going to get away from them. So go this way. Actually, this isn't the best. Is this the best place to do it? I'm not. I'm not sure. Um, I think actually, let's try and fight fight my way back up to the pier and do a runoff. Don't just fall over. What are you doing, stupid car? Get back on your wheels. This is the most unstable vehicle I've ever driven. That might be excessive hyperbole. It's probably not actually true. But it, at the moment, it feels like it. It really does. Stop it. <laughs> I'll throw a, I'll throw a um, street light at him. See if that helps. <laughs> oh, no. Right. Um, I'm going to take the jump here. Well, um, this, is, this has been a nice tour of Los Santos, at least. So I hope uh, I hope you've been enjoying seeing all of, all of the sites, like the storm drains and the airport and um, jump various jumps. I've been oh, I've been past the shopping centre as well. Um, seen the Los Santos customs briefly. No, Tristan is still right there. Uh, lump around the corner like that. Let's let's you know let's turn the circle off because that's the thing I'm supposed to do when I'm in a chase to make it slightly harder for them. 
but when there's one of them right behind me like that it it doesn't really matter he's he, he knows where I am he's not gonna be he's not gonna be fooled by me turning the circle off I turned a road earlier than I meant to but actually this is quite good this is gonna bring me back to where I was sort of wanting to go so let's go this way still there yes he is still there um Yep, he's still behind me. Let's go down here, see if this is a, a, a convenient dodge. Uh, it's not a dodge, it's a Toyota, but it's worth a try. They're all in dodges, that's perhaps the problem. All those dodgy um, opponents of mine. Where am I? Oh, I'm here. Okay, I do have a, a possible plan. So something, this is either going to go really well or really, really badly. So if I come along here, this is what I was thinking about thinking of doing earlier. So there's this jump along here. And if you hit it at exactly the right speed, you can drop yourself in here and then just drive out. And Tristan ends up upside down like that. So that's gone pretty well, I would say. And I can now come around here and 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 then I don't know. Maybe go this way. Let's try this way. And get a bit of try and get a bit of distance down while he while he's sort of scrambling to recover. And then now that I'm out here. I can hopefully find a replacement vehicle, and then I can start thinking about checkpoints again. Phew! Okay, that was a good good trick, and I think I have um, Maxi to thank for that one, so thank you, Max. Much appreciated. Let's get out of this car. I think even if even if they're still right behind me, I'd want to get away from this. So that's... Is that a Voltic? Yes, that's a Voltic. I don't want a Voltic. There's such a terrible spawn set at the moment. I don't really know why, but there doesn't seem to be anything... Nothing remotely good, apart from oracles and Voltics. And the oracles, I mean, the oracles are better than the SUVs the other guys are driving, so there is that. Uh, circle back on, there we go. Um, the oracles are better than the than the um, their SUVs, but they're not, I mean, they're not that great. And the Voltics are too good, because they're in the super class. What I actually want is a sports car. And there just don't seem to be any of them anywhere. But okay, so now we are out of a chase for the first time in about three days. So that's that's nice. I approve of that. <laughs> just need to try and oop, there's um, Mike in an orange, and oop, Pete as well. It looks like Pete might be following me. I'm, 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 I'm worried. Yeah, Pete is being a bit too investigaty of me. I don't like this. Whoa! That Voltic went through a bit quickly. Um, yeah, so I'm not hanging around for this. I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> and I am going to take this checkpoint because that was my original plan. So, brakes, 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 checkpoint, acceleration. Oh, there go my tyres. That's going to make things a bit harder for me. It's also going to make things harder for everyone else because they've also lost tyres. This is another one of those checkpoint effects I was talking about. So, in this particular case, everybody has lost at least, has lost one or more. Ow, that was less good than I hoped. One or more of their tyres. Oh, come on, get moving again. Um... So all of the cars have basically become undrivable. Everybody's going to want to change their vehicle for something less terrible. Um, oops, skate, 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 skate. Stop skating. No, don't skate like that. <laughs> oh, dear. I'm just going to abandon this here and find something else. Uh, what's over this? If I drop off... Oop, ow. Don't be fatal. Thank you. <laughs> that was dumb. Right, if I died from that, I would have not been a happy bunny. Right, let me try and find another car. There's a car park here, which is, is completely empty, as is traditional. Great. Now, they're all potentially going to be driving oracles now, because they seem to be the only coupes that are spawning, which is ridiculous. So, I'm going to drive another oracle, um, and I'm going to try and get to Casino Bridge. So, Casino Bridge. Casino Bridge is sort of, kind of off the highway, I think. How do you get, how do you get there? If I go this way... Yeah, if I go, I can go this way and potentially come off and drive up through Vinewood, or I could go up the highway and come back down through North Island. Now that's, that's going to make me far too obvious. 
Is it this egg? Was it that exit that I needed? I think it was that exit that I needed. Okay, so I haven't come off where I need. To. Ooh, I could come off here. This, no, this won't work. Yes, it will. I'll make it work. So I've come off here. Turn right here. Here. Then, yes, I can follow this one up. If I come off at the dash end with a big sort of swoop round and U-turn, then I can come, then I can come up to um, Casino Bridge checkpoint without too much difficulty, I think. Um, it's going to be a bit dodgy if anyone's looking. But, basically, I think it should work. Um, so, where's the exit? What? Oh, there isn't... Hmm. Okay, apparently I don't know this area as well as I thought I did. But if I come off here instead, this is even actually even better. As long as nobody's looking, that's going to be a really stealthy way of getting into this area. So, I can come up here like this. Pull up here like that. Now the question is, can I take the checkpoint from here before I start going? Now there's Mike in the... In, no, I can't. So I need to do this, and then stop, and then this, and then start going again. Did I get him? I will have upset him a bit, but I don't think I killed him. That's a shame. I would have like, oh no, he got one of my tyres. That was... <laughs> okay, that was a, a bad idea of mine there. But it was funny, so I, I, I don't care. Right, okay, so I now need to ditch this car somewhere. Um... This will do nicely. Alleyways are a good place to do this sort of thing. Uh, get out. There we go. And then over the wall. And I think this is a car... Is this, is this even a car park? If it is, it's a car-free car park. It's just got skate, skate ramps in it. That's not helpful. Okay. So, I mean, I've got away from Mike, even though he shot me in the... Um, uh, put, put the gun away. There we go. Uh, this car park is also empty. Do you know what would be nice? A car park that actually has some damn cars in it. <laughs> I'm kind of stuck on a, on a rooftop here. Let's drop down at least. Like that. There we go. Made that without without getting too seriously injured. Now, I don't know whether that, how much of a look they've, they've had on me so far. Whether they've, really, whether they've identified me properly. But... I don't really want to risk it too much. The roads are quite quiet. Oh, there's the shooting happening over there. Okay. Let's nick this oracle and then get over to five ways as quickly as possible. All right. So, again, another, another oracle. We'll have to see if we can just restart something and try and fix the um, fix the spawn set because this is, this is ridiculous. Nothing but oracles and um, SUVs is, is not the way I want to play the game. So we'll stop here. There we go. Um, <laughs> wait for the wait for the lights. At least wait a moment for the lights. Wait for Mike to clear off a little bit as the top of the list. Okay, so there's two choices here. I could either go left and head down the south side of the um, highway and then come back north again. I think that's probably the best idea. But what's Mike doing? Is Mike just changing vehicles? Yes, he is. So everybody's going to be in an Oracle. Well, I suppose at least that makes it fair. Um, Sure, and the guy who just nicked the car off is chasing him, but he's not going to get do very well with that. Okay, they've they've all gone now, so I'm going to go this. Way. Oh, the light's gone green anyway, so I can go, I can go this way in relative safety. Now, do I just make a beeline straight for five ways? That might be the best idea at this point. There's nobody around. I'm just going to keep going, even if there's a. Oh no, it's, maybe it's actually a motorbike. I don't. Yeah, I think just going going for five ways is probably my best... I'm going a bit quick, though. My best plan at the moment. Um, no way. Or is it? I don't know. Is that too obvious or is it not obvious? Is it, is it the right level of obvious? I, oh, I'm on the wrong side of the road because I'm being British about this. Let's not be British about this when we're driving around in America. <laughs> that could go very, very badly. Um, yes, yeah, so if I get down here and I take a right turn here... Is this, a, is this how you turn right? No, it is. Can you even? You can't turn right here. Uh, Alright, apparently, because I do obviously believe in obeying all of the traffic laws, as, you, as, you, as you've seen from all of my play earlier, um, I'm going to be ending up going across this bridge and coming into five ways from the south, which is... I don't know. It depends where the hunters have gone at this point, to be honest, because they all shot southwards before from where I was, but they might have found a way to come back north across the city again. So, heading this way... 
this might throw them off a bit and at the very least it'll make it a bit less obvious where I'm trying to get to. Uh, oop, there's some green lights. That must be... Is that Mark? Yeah, it's Mark. That's, oh, that's Mike there doing the shooting. I'm panicking now because I because there is shooting happening. I think an AI can panic like this. I, I've mentioned one of the things I've noticed is when an AI panics, they are very very good at still staying in their lane. So I'm trying to sort of replicate that. They they will try very very hard not to go onto the wrong side of the road or off the road onto the grass and stuff like that. And that's quite hard to replicate as a player. But I think I did a reasonably good job of it there. And here is the final checkpoint. So stop. Checkpoint. That was a stop. That's a stop. And go. I seem to be short of tyres, which is unfortunate. But it might be something I can just deal with. Because now we've only got the final hunt to deal with, to, to get away from. Um, and they're all going to be looking for new cars because their tyres will have popped as well again. Um, so maybe if I just keep moving, get onto the highway like this and get absolutely wiped out by a truck. That was not part of the plan. Um, <laughs> the truck driver is going to get out and try and attack me as well. That's not good. I don't need I don't need a fifth hunter in this game. But I can now hopefully try and just flee away down this down this highway, even though I have a severe shortage of tyres. And eventually, there we go. I've got far enough away from them that it's counted as a win. Phew! That was that was quite a hectic run. We had some ludicrously long chases in the earlier parts of it, but um, I think later on it started to go a little bit better. Possibly because I started using slightly better cars, and therefore once. A bit once chases started to happen, we were at least evenly matched, if not me in a better vehicle. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Ah! <laughs> so polite. <laughs>
that you followed me off, Mike. Yep. Uh, doubling back, heading north. No, I think he went, he went underground. Yeah, he's, he's going down towards Storm Drain. Although, he might be trapped. Nope. Uh, slightly trapped. Uh, coming back out onto the road. We're under that jump. Heading south now. Uh, no, on back on up towards the highway. Uh, crossing the highway east. There you ah. up. And north into Mirror Park. And clockwise around the lake. Yeah, why why did that van do that? Unhelpful. Uh, going for the jump in the car park, but failed to go into the car park. He's now going to crawl over the jump. And heading east towards Square Squares. Sorry, West. Nearly at Square Squares. Turning left just after the bridge, though. And then E, uh, right to go middle of square squares, ever crashed it. Uh, double back and heading back towards the bridge. I think you went past Mike. I did, yeah. I was looking yep. one south to try and get north. off. Heading north, uh, so you can turn left here towards Pillbox Hill and tunnel. Uh, south towards the checkpoint now. Intercept. Through the checkpoint now, heading west. No, nope, heading into two square squares. I'm going to go red. Yeah. <laughs> Beat on him. Beat you're the one who can see where he is. Stuck in in the square squares. Uh, yeah, heading down the east exit. Which we are heading that? east, 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 halfway down square squares. North He's taking left, looping back to pillbox hill. Uh, and that's an east again over the bridge. On your right. Continue over the bridge. Yeah, my van sucks. Continuing. He's taking a left north. towards Mirror Park. Mirror Park checkpoint taking. I saw him stop. That would have been amazing if it was a get out of the car one. <laughs> <laughs> the car over. might have run him over. Oh, no, on your right, Tristan. No, yeah, hang on. I crashed. Uh, continuing <laughs> north. Is he in a bridge? Heading towards okay. that. Now, yeah. on right. That kind of direction, yeah. I stopped momentarily to change cars as well. I was rather beaten up. Going through. Uh, Casino checkpoint now, heading west up. Ooh, that was a nice flip. Uh, female Ready. character model, I think blonde. Still heading west? Nope, just turn south. south. Uh, junction or two after the, the bridge. Bit. So I turned south way earlier than I needed to. Uh, east side of construction site, just approaching the northeast corner. Nice and uh, going south. Stop. Uh, going into construction site. That's a pretty bold move. I was going to say, yeah. yeah. I wonder if he intended to do that. He did. He may now be regretting it. Does he think he gets through? You can actually he can get, get through. through. Yeah. yeah. He is coming out the west side now. Going so onto sees. the grass. <laughs> and onto the highway. Straight across and taking going south at T junction. Wrong side of the road. Swapped over to the correct side of the road but then going the other way. So still wrong side of the road. And gonna be heading west on the main highway, I think. Oh no, might be but, coming off. No, that. no one saw that. No, no. Nope. Onto the highway, heading west. He 
We pity the AI. Probably moving them. Uh, heading west. Uh, probably coming off at multicolored. Yep. Approaching the end. Turning right. That's the always thing. And then left. Immediately. Towards pier. Approaching pier. Turning right. Heading north, second right, and into some bushes and a car park. -ish. Careful, he might just squeeze through. Oh, he's gone into a. There we go. Uh, ah. he's, he's going further down. I'm gonna head round. I'm not sure if there's a way out. He, he's going. He's 180 degrees round. He has come out north of Pier, uh, down the slip road, down to the highway. Still going east. I pitted him. Time to turn the corner. Uh, heading south. Um, one a lot. Oh, no, in, not into an alley. It wasn't an alley. Uh, east from shopping centre tunnel, essentially. By construction site. South into ghetto. Uh, location may become more vague. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Uh, east into an alley. It's where Pete was being unhelpful earlier. <laughs> where? He's, he's going to exactly exact, <laughs> the exact same place. I know exactly uh, where he means. turned left and I. Nope, there he is. We're in a car park. Uh, Yep, yeah, got him. Mike behind you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, good. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't stop. Pump the cars! Heading southwest. Right into a vending machine, because apparently he doesn't like vending machines. Still proceeding south towards Arena. Um, he's on the grass. Don't walk on the grass, man. Smoke. He tried to take a jump and, and rolled it abysmally. Um, at this point, I'm not even sure. Pull here. Yep. No, well, he's facing the other way to all of us. <laughs> They're down to the storm drain. Hi. I stand. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> just in the middle of us. I nearly hit him whilst upside down. Uh, <laughs> <so sad>. <laughs> 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 oh no! The car stuck on its roof. I'm like a turtle. Jump on the road for us here. I did that to me. Any worse? Oh dear. Towards, towards airport loop. Ah, oh, no, I took the wrong one. Okay, I'm gonna be out of the chase for a little, little while, guys. <laughs> uh, off roads. Into airport. I went into airport. It's like behind me and there's some minor sat there. <laughs> that was amazing. I felt like a turtle. <laughs> yeah. I, I am on foot running out of the storm drain to find another car. <laughs> He's in that oh, yeah. Presumably, then, uh, that's the checkpoint. Potentially. No, he's, he's leaving. Well, but then I did that when he was airport loop, so. By the jump. Taking the jump. Which bit of ghetto? Oh, he's turned left. Uh, junction before Ring of Fire, I think this might be Franklin Street, I don't know. Yeah. I've lost sight of him. He turned right at the end on tram lines. 
uh, left out of ghetto by the plane and then down onto the low way correct side of the road he has managed to get some distance if he, as long as he does his straight line trick now I think he'll be able to catch up my car is faster wrong side of the road uh, there you go. T-junction. He's taken the jump backwards. Oh. Oh, I just made it. Uh, I don't know where you are. Uh, five ways. Ish. Right. East of five ways. By that hospital. I didn't see which way he turned. Probably left. I don't see him right. Uh, did we get a crap Female, I think blonde. Yeah. Oh, this one. Unfortunately not. Male and bald, I assume, Pete. <laughs> Are you describing me in real life again, or...? Because uh... if so, it's accurate. Did someone just slam into me? Because if so, it was that car. Wasn't me. Uh, heading towards the shopping mall, south, on the west side. So it was just jumping a like a beast, beast, and it was something got quite small, so yeah. yeah it's going bloody uh, fast. Ah! This is the to jump. I'm guessing you've lost all tyres as well? Yes, sir. I've just lost my back tyres, which means I'm a little slidey. Uh, I turned right when he went straight. That's annoying. I don't know he would have gone straight. It's Lawrence. Damn it, Pete. So it'll jump north. Casino Bridge. Bridge. That was janky as anything. Have we already had Mirror Park? I can't remember. No, he's. I don't think. So. Yes, yes, we have. Yeah. Oh, yep. Tango. Ah, he's in a red um, thing heading south from the checkpoint. Is that red thing. See a checkpoint. Yep. And then he's headed uh, right down there. I think I got a tire. He tried to run me over. What was the year? A red, possibly an oracle. I'm going to say yes, it was an oracle. Um, note to editing, Mike. It was an oracle. Just put the oracle card up, it'll be fine. Uh, yes, it is. I, I for, for the record, would like to point out that my ability to identify an oracle has historically been, shall we say, somewhat hit and miss. Possible card change? What's going on here? That silver one, Mark. The fact it's backing up is actually. No. It was a white woman, blonde hair, right? Yep. The blonde hair, I'm less certain of. It's slower to get up to speed, but it is a bit more stable. Here we go. I know I shouldn't have attacked you at that point, Mike, but I just couldn't resist because you were such a sitting guy. Yeah, it's fair, it's fair. I mean, shouldn't have from a tactical point of view. <laughs> well, no, it, it, it can make sense because if you killed me, then what was I going to do? Yes. And if I hadn't, you might have just been suspicious of me anyway and got off and, and chased me, so that might have been worse. You did get one of my tyres, though. That was a good shot because I was quite a I long way you, away by then. You were in Oracle. That was, a, that was an Oracle, right? That was an Oracle. Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>